should ever have to live with the fear of being attacked for what they look like, who they worship, or who they are. Today, I'm very proud to introduce Canada's first special representative to combat Islamophobia, Amira El Gawabi. C'est un grand honneur de me tenir devant vous en tant que première représentante spéciale du Canada pour la lutte contre l'islamophobie. It's important to note that this came actually from the Muslim community. So the, we had a summit, a national summit on Islamophobia with Muslim leaders and the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. And one of the key recommendations that came from that summit was the appointment of a special representative to combat Islamophobia. In addition to that, Budget 2022 allocated $5.6 million to support this office. So this is a very important day for all Canadians because it's yet another important step in the fight against all forms of hate. Uh, in Canada. I'm deeply humbled that so many Canadian Muslims have put their confidence in me. It's so important that Canadian Muslims continue to be engaged in all levels of civic life. So it's very important. I've constantly been uh, working with communities to participate, whether it's in politics, whether it's in their school boards, whether it's in um, the different aspects of life, um, and to let me know, you know, wh where, are the, where are the barriers? The vast majority of Canadians are those who believe in inclusivity and in diversity, who support Canadian Muslim communities just like any other community in this country, that while we talk about Islamophobia and we talk about hate, um, we can't let it overshadow the very good that exists within our friends, colleagues, neighbors, and in, in our communities. There are laws being passed in this country that prevent us from practicing fundamental parts of our religion. And so it's very important to have somebody inside government that has the scope to actually see what is going on to ensure that we're rooting out Islamophobia in all systemic forms. And that starts at the very top of the government. And we're gonna be working uh, very closely with the special representative, uh, representative of Islamophobia to ensure that they have the support of the Muslim community in order to do this critical job. I'm really thrilled and excited that IMO has been chosen for this purpose, you know, because as you can recall, um, two years ago, just over two years ago, the incident with our brother, Mohammed Safis, may Allah bless his soul, took place here. And for the government, for the Minister of uh, Housing, uh, the Honorable Ahmad Hussein, for him to, to choose IMO, it's indeed something very uh, admirable and commendable, and we feel very privileged. We know the difficulty that Muslims and the challenges that Muslims face in Canada and the importance of this role in order to connect the Muslim community uh, concerns to the government and how can uh, the government help and support to release or to relieve the Muslim community and to work out with the Muslim community leaders to uh, combat Islamophobia, to fight against Islamophobia. Islamophobia um, comes also in different forms. Some of it is driven by hate. Some of it is driven by ignorance. Uh, and what we all need to do is obviously stand up against hate uh, and call it out, but also work collaboratively with those who are committing acts of Islamophobia out of ignorance. Uh, we want to build bridges. We want to educate. We want to raise awareness. And I want to encourage my fellow Muslim Canadians to keep doing what they're doing, to keep uh, uh, you know, excelling in doing what they love and keep uh, excelling in supporting their families, uh, in sharing the love and the friendship with their neighbors, with their colleagues, but also in continuing to be uh, a proud, articulate uh, voice on behalf of all Muslims in ensuring that we're all held accountable as governments, as, as fellow citizens to do the right thing because we can only do this together. There is a role for government, but there is also a broader role for society, which includes obviously a voice and input from the Muslim community. On behalf of Let the Quran Speak, I want to say thank you. You've helped us become the most widely watched Muslim TV show in Canada. I want to appeal to you to continue to support us. You can visit our website, quranspeaks.com. We also accept e-transfers to iGive at quranspeaks.com. And we're now on Patreon, so you can make a monthly contribution. May God bless you and your loved ones today and always.